hands on uphill knee. Change the orientation of your femur to where we're flexed to vertical, flexed to vertical, flexed to vertical. This is, this is the start of a number of things. I mean, first off, we have established our weight, our balance, our ankle flexion, our everything on the new platform. What's becoming our new outside ski? Then, as we're starting our turn, we're flexed. As we're starting our turn, we are attacking our ski tip. Okay, that is, and just imagine if we're on a slalom course, if we're on a steep pitch, we're here and we've got to go attack that ski tip, our outside ski. And our kids, they tend to maybe just kind of be around in here. And this exercise, extending, extending their hip to tip into one turn, it starts to get some movement with them. So we've identified, uh, you know, a couple joints, our hips, when they're really flexed. And we're taking our femur, making it more vertical. Our hips go to more open, okay? Okay, is your, hip, is, is your femur, just one sec. Does your femur go from here to here? Here to here. Do you see that? Your yeah. femur. Your femur changes here to here, here to here. Okay. See the difference? Now let's bring the hands on knees into our turns. All right. So as we start our turn, we're going to be down low. A lot of ankle flexion, good connection with what is becoming our new outside ski platform. We're going to press on this knee and when we press on this knee to start extending or starting to open our hip, making our femur more vertical, moving our hip to our tip, we're also starting to roll that knee and ankle a little bit, have a little bit of edge, not enough, just enough to redirect that ski. So we're getting our extension and our pressure into our ski tip. We're balanced on our outside ski. We've got a little bit of edge for that hands-on knee. So this exercise, Matt and I tried it. It's, it's pretty sophisticated in some ways to try to introduce this to a nine-year-old. Uh, but what I found with it is a few things. One, just hands on knees, we're gonna have a nice stance width. We're not gonna be too close. We're, so just from a basic. And then when you talk about kind of pressing on one leg or the other, then I just naturally start seeing some foot to foot skiing, just naturally happening. And then also the, the end result, which I think is important, is we start getting short leg, long leg. This outside leg that we're pressing and we're extending, that leg gets longer while the inside gets shorter. Common mistake is probably going to be press on this knee and come up, which we're up, which is not what we're talking about. We're, we're, pre we're, we're if we're gonna get really advanced with this move, our hands on our uphill knee, we get a little, a little knee ankle for edge, and we're, it's, it's all a forward move. It's not an up move at all. But you know, I've seen kids do it where they're just coming up like that. And I'm like, whatever, man, I'm getting that kid to move. We're, get, we're getting some of this to happen. Right.